Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is your boy, Culture Shock. We are back with a quick video. I just wanted to give you guys a brief update about some key players that might be set to return this week for the Indianapolis Colts. They take on the Tennessee Titans in this week six matchup, which is a huge game for the Indianapolis Colts. Huge game. So this video won't be long, but I just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, looking at the injury report, it looks like Josh Downs is going to be able to play. He's questionable to play uh, from a toe injury. Uh, he didn't practice Wednesday or Thursday, but he did practice on Friday. So he's questionable to play. Michael Pittman Jr. Um, had a back injury this whole time, and we didn't even know. He didn't practice on Wednesday or Thursday, but he practiced on Friday full time. So he's going to be questionable going into Sunday. Trey Sermon is going to be available to play on Sunday. Brayden Smith is questionable with the knee and ankle injury. He didn't practice Wednesday, but he practiced Thursday and didn't practice Friday. So he's questionable. Jonathan Taylor is out for Sunday's matchup versus the Titans with an ankle injury. Kenny Moore looks like he's upgraded to questionable to play this week, which is a huge upgrade for the secondary, which is needed. Quiddy Pay is set to return this week against the Tennessee Titans. He's been out with a quad injury. He was limited on Wednesday and Thursday, but he practiced full-time on Friday. Ryan Kelly is set to return this week from a neck and rest injury. He practiced Wednesday and Thursday, but didn't practice Friday, but he's set to go. Grover Stewart is set to go for Sunday, and Hurricane Dio is set to go for Sunday. So these are some key guys. Anthony Richardson is questionable. Uh, another guy who is set to probably play against the Tennessee Titans. So these are some key players for the Indianapolis Colts to play against the Tennessee Titans, especially Anthony Richardson, just due to his presence and him being a dual threat, being able to be mobile and to throw the football, can definitely offset the Titans' defense because they're probably – practice to set up to play Joe Flacco. Um, but both of those guys, Joe Flacco or Anthony Richardson, can pretty much perform at a high rate the way that the offensive line is moving. Uh, Ryan Kelly coming back um, is a huge upgrade over Tanner Bordellini, even though I love Tanner Bordellini's performance so far. Having Ryan Kelly at veteran at center is a huge bonus because he can spot some things that a young quarterback like Anthony Richardson may not see. So it's a huge upgrade to return. Uh, we definitely need all the guys available for this um, week six matchup because this can pretty much change the outcome of your season moving forward. So you got to win this game. It's very important. Kenny Moore is another guy who is very uh, important in the secondary. We're going to need him as well. Um, going up against a banged up Will Levis, a guy like Kenny Moore can pretty much uh, be a playmaker. He can go out there and have a huge performance as well. So, uh, all of these guys, especially Quidipe, another guy I got to mention, the right side for the Tennessee Titans is a little lackluster. Um, that doesn't take away from them at all. But having Quidipe out there can definitely have a huge upgrade. And even Grover Stewart having have him out there and Hurricane Dio. The defensive line is going back to looking like how they did against Pittsburgh. So this could be a huge game for them to uh, bounce back after the last week's performance when they pretty much was invisible. So all of these guys coming back, um, even without Jonathan Taylor, I think these guys can um, go out there and perform, with bringing back some playmakers that the Colts do need because some of these guys um, are are huge pieces to this Colts team, offensively and defensively. Um, even with Michael Pittman Jr. being questionable, uh, look like Josh Downs might play, uh, but we still have a lot of depth in the wide receiver room that can go out there and make some plays. So. It's just up to the quarterback to put the the ball on the money because this Titans defense is pretty good in pass coverage. So it's going to be up to these guys to not make a mistake and go out there and perform. But having these uh, playmakers come back is definitely a huge boost to both sides. So it's going to be interesting to see how they play. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Coach, Culture Shock. Until next time, see you guys.